Hello, another thing I would like to uh, share with you today is uh, decoy rig. So basically what I've been doing this year was to to add systematically those kind of pieces to my uh, to my rig. So either this one which is fairly small. I don't recommend that one. I like it because it's not shiny but it's not easy to use with gloves or even without gloves. So I recommend this one. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit more expensive but I think it's much nicer to use. So on every single of my um, uh, weight uh, rig system I have this on top of it and what I've done on each of my decoys I put uh, a small piece of stainless steel ring like this so then I can quickly uh, attach uh, whatever rig I'm using to it so just like this and then you are good to go when you want to release it you just need to pinch it and uh, you are good to go so all my decoys now are equipped with those kind of with those kind of stainless steel uh, ring. Uh, my go-to rig system is Texas rig system. I think it's very convenient. The only issue I have is that I'm mostly hunting legs, and sometimes those are not uh, long enough. So what I've done this year is uh, I've been using those PVC cord that I buy from Academy. But I'm not fully sure I would recommend to buy it from Academy because I got a lot of them breaking usually here but uh, the clamp from Academy are working pretty well uh, it's only cost uh, 1.5 dollars or two dollars for two dozens and it works pretty well but anyway you will get the ID you can use whatever cord you want basically cutting uh, the cord to a certain length clamping it and then using those kind of devices at the end of it so Cut your cord, get your decoy equipped with this uh, stainless steel ring so then you can clip it very easily. And what I do is basically the same thing on the other side. So I have equipped my flat weight with the same kind of system, small piece of cord, small stainless steel ring like this, and then I'm going just to clip it like this, and then I'm good to go. When I'm done, basically I put everything in the boat, all those things will go tangled together, once I will be on the dock, I'm going to remove the weights on both ends, the decoys on the other one, put the decoys quickly into the bags, and basically then I'm going to have a big uh, mess of cord together. But the good thing is that this cord doesn't tangle, so you are just going to pull one, do like this, and it will come, and you will be able to uh, put it back into your box and get ready for next time. So I'm hunting mostly alone. I'm looking always for systems to be able to go quick and simple. And uh, that's something I've been using this year. Very simple. Uh, the other benefit is that I don't need to have one weight per decoy. I can just have maybe five, six dozens of those weight, maybe even less, I might have four. And uh, maybe I have six dozens of decoys in my boat I just use four dozens and I just saving two dozens of weight because I'm just going to use always the same weight and attaching them to the rig right here when it's not too deep then I use Texas rig decoys I bought the, I buy them from Academy those ones are very nice but again they are not very long so if you need to have something that's going to be more than four or five feet then you probably want to have something longer. I don't like to wrap the cord around the decoys, so that's why I use that this year. So those are the things that I'm using this year. So small swivel, as you can see here, easy to put on, easy to remove when it's not too cold. Uh, PVC line, flat weight, and basically, since I'm mostly hunting by myself, what I do when I'm done is I put everything together in the box and because it doesn't tangle then it's not too bad to clean up and put everything back for the next hunt. So the boat is a little bit messy but at least it's fast faster, quicker for me to get everything in the boat. I will take care of all these things at the dock and uh, 
get ready for next time. Now we can work on the rope. So as you can see, we take one them one by one. And they should come. And you keep going like this, on and on. That's how I take care of them. Just wrap them around put them in the box and then they are ready for next time next time I need them just pull them I can use them so might not work for you it works for me so something new I've tried this year I'm pretty happy with that when even when it's tough you will see that it's still coming out so this one and here you go find it very convenient so as you can see we are making progress with our uh, uh, spaghettis so a couple more minutes and we will be done I think I have a couple of couple of more to do maybe seven eight or so and then would be good put the weight in the right place and we should be good to go so this is going here this is going right here and all the weights getting in this box 